Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lancelot Show. We are doing the uh, Game of War 2018. I'm not going to like go each and bit of details of it. I can tell you that it's boring three hours of my life that I just watched at Rich Review Tech Stream. Uh, there are some good games that I like to have. I do not agree a lot of the awards they gave out. Um, looks like uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 got a shitload of rewards. I never really played the game. They played the first one. I actually ordered it on Amazon for the first one for the PS3. And I'm going to try it myself. That's the type of game I do not actually play. I really wish God of War got a lot more. But God, that was an awesome game. Um, but that's my opinion. But I'm going to get more into the game trailer that's been out. Uh, that I care for. And the rest I do not really care for. The one that pretty much caught my eyes was Dragon Age. Um... The uh, Dread Wolf Rises. I think it's a DLC for Dragon Age Three. It's not. Uh, they did not confirm be Dragon Age Four. So I believe that will be three number three, the last of the DLCs. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be on mobile. Uh, will not play it on mobile <laughs> on that type of game. I might have. I may play if it comes on mobile. But hopefully not. If it's going to be four or three continuation of it, that would be great. Um. Also, you know, I saw some indie games I like that uh, uh, Hades uh, I like probably be interested in that as well Rage 2 was pretty good. I never played one but 2 looks pretty good F feels like Borders Land I have one. I, I just never got around to play it. If you guys have been live streaming it, I will Mortal Kombat 11. I am going to get I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan uh, I did not like what they put the the hip-hop beat music onto it. Uh, I think that does not really scream Mortal Kombat uh, I'm pretty old-school uh, Hopefully don't have that in the the, the game uh, Actual playing the game with that type of music and I probably will throw that damn thing across the damn room don't really care too much about Devil May Cry series Ashley is very huge into that for Devil May Cry 5 do not care about PUBG. Do not care about Battleground. Do not get two shits about Fortnite. Uh, not going to play it. Uh, I, I play Dabble a little bit in Battleground, Pud, PUBG. Don't like it. Uh, it's just not the type of game for me. Uh, Super Smash, we're going to get to uh, on Friday afternoon. I'm going to live stream it. I just saw the, the new character challenger pack one for Joker for Persona 5. God damn it, Nintendo. Now I gotta go buy a freaking Challenger Pack 1. Thank you very much for that. Put more money out of my pocket. Let's see what we have. Stranger Thing 3 game. I think Ashley will be more interested in playing that game than I am. I am not a really huge Stranger Thing fan. Only thing I like about Stranger Thing is the D&D um, uh, thing that's all in there. But that's pretty much it. Uh... Not, no, not, and I'm not really into those kind of serious type mystery horror slash type of movies or TV show. I don't care for horror or, or scary, uh, you know, mysterious shit. It's just not my cup of tea. We have season one, two, and Blu ray as well. We also watched it on Netflix. I watched it. I hope that season three will have the actual mind flares uh, that we see in the background of it or Cthulhu. That would be so awesome. I know in a D&D reference on the Upside Down World, it's basically the Shadow Plane or the Shadow Realm. Um, if, depending on which books you're going by. But, you know, if they put more and more D&D reference on it, I might enjoy a lot more of it. But that's one of those things like, eh, not really that much into it. I downloaded Survive for the Steam. It's free uh, for it. It's an indie game as well. I'm going to try it out and review it. Uh, I saw the path list. Not interested in that. Um, Crackdown 3. Never played one or two. Was not really interested in it. Uh, even though Terry Crews is going to be the 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 the, the day one uh, for it. I'm like, uh, uh, Terry, Terry Crews is an awesome actor. It's just I'm just not into that type of game. I'm not. I only play certain type of shooter games, and that is it. And I don't play anything else unless it really catches my eye. Atlas looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks a lot better than that pirate game they Xbox uh, pulled out. Um, hopefully, I think I'm gonna get Atlas. Um, 
it depends on uh, the situation I may see more and more gameplay of it if it has more of a storyline the uh, storyline talk to NPC uh, and so forth I'll probably even get Atlas in a heartbeat uh, we got let's see here we have crash team racing nitro field I am buying that um, I ha I used to play the original one the ps1 uh, those type of games I like those are the type of the sports game I like to play like Mario Kart and so forth I like the little comedic aspect of it the auto worlds uh, I might get it it was interesting uh, I might actually get the game damn game for that um, we'll see what we'll, we'll, um, probably on PC Let's see the last campfire. Not really interested in that. Dauntless. Not really interested in it. I might get it just for the sh for shits and giggles uh, for it. Uh, but I, I want to see gameplay of it. I want to see the cutscene of it. I gotta see the gameplay of it if I'm gonna get it or not. Far Cry: The New Dawn. Um, it looks like it's a DLC for Far Cry Five. I only think it's the actual Far Cry Six. Uh, we'll see. Looks like it's a continuation after the end of Far Cry 5 and Nukes launched several uh, years later for it. Uh, I think that that would be probably um, a good game, but I never. I, I have Far Cry 1 through 4 um, actually on disc and on Steam. Um, it's just that I never actually got around playing it. Far Cry 5 was okay for me. Uh, I beat it. I streamed it. Uh, it just it never really appealed to me at all. I, I wish there was, you know, Far Cry Five had a lot more um, storyline driven based on it. So far, I just you know kill and ha hack a slash. It just got repetitive in my opinion. And I, if they got more story based in it and more thing to, to for me to to relate to you know playing the game if it's like mad max style type of game i might be more into it if this is going to be kind of like that but other than that not really much not really a far cry fan so you're dead by dead like darkness uh ashley uh among us dlc ashley might be interested in that um i talked to her about that uh wild hearts uh not really into it uh as well don't care about Fortnite. i'm just looking through the list that i have right here uh S S scavenger world Re uh, reveal i might actually get that it looks kind of interested on my point of view marvel ultimate alliance 3 i only played marvel ultimate alliance 1 on the gamecube never played 2 i might get it uh i probably get it for a nintendo switch and uh it looks interesting in me and my part bung the tree will not get it um let's see what else we have in the game uh for it let's see here there's nothing much uh i might get red dead redemption too but the later on the road once the, the price drops i was surprised did he not mention any metroid because like, people are saying there'd be a new metro game i don't be waiting for metroid 4 but uh it looks like not uh for that type of game but other than that, the game, the the the, the rewards game ceremony was very boring. I know there's like one or two games that I want to play, but I can't think of my head. Uh, think of top of my head. It's just very boring. I, I don't know. E E E three game award. A lot of the PlayStation experience and you know Treehouse, the Treehouse and so forth. Feels like it's so boring now. It's just a lot more talking. It's just like I just want to see the game trailer. I want to see who's win. That is it. I don't care about the music or anything else. <laughs> Three hours of it. It's like it's not. It's like they're treating this like a damn Oscar. But it's like I don't really care. And I don't think a lot of people do care about it. So I just want to know who won. What game are you releasing out? That's it. Uh, but. Uh, who knows? I'm uh, probably getting older and just getting more irritated as we go. Journey to uh, Salvage Planet. I know there was a few games that was out that I'm not saying. I don't see it on the list um, on my on my thing, but yeah, that is it. That is my opinion about it as well. I'll be live streaming uh, Super Smash Brothers. We just did Pathfinder today, so I had to skip the, the actual thing and I just skimmed through the award ceremony right after. 
Uh, we did the Christmas holiday special. Uh, be uh, next week will be the last day for it. We are going to be taking a two week break from Christmas all the way past New Year's. Uh, there will be gameplay. We'll be live streaming. We'll be doing podcasts on Sundays. Uh, we're not going to be doing D and D or me doing making everyday freaking videos for it. We are going to take a holiday two week break. Uh, but we will be on Discord. Actually, we'll be doing live stream streaming for her art channel and everything else as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the the award ceremony and the the game trailer I, I said. I know a lot of people are going to disagree about it. That's fine. We you have your opinion. I have my opinion. But subscribe, like, and share the chat, uh, share the video, and one thousand sub giveaway. It's Nintendo Switch Eternal Edition. Now I'll talk to y'all later, and hope you have a great day and holiday and Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. And good goodbye.